What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the game. So today I want to talk to you all about my WVU Mountaineer football versus Maryland prediction. What's going to happen, what might happen. So let's get with it. So first game of the season. My thoughts is WVU is going to be coming out blasting, even though it's a away game. It's a little, it's a little bit later in the evening, like a three, it's three thirty game. So I think we're going to be energized. I think we're going to be charged up. I want to say that we're going to get this W from Maryland at Maryland, and it'll be a great start of the season going into 2021, 2022. So. Mountie has the same prediction. We're going to be getting it. We're going to be winning Maryland against Maryland. He's in, he's in, he gave me, he told me he's, we're going to be doing that W for sure. Hope that the boys of WVU, Bloom Gold, can bring it. I have a feeling that they will. Uh, my prediction is it's going to be a tight, close game. We're going to probably win by a touchdown or a field goal. It's not going to be a high-scoring game. I hope I'm right, but hey. But from the stuff I read, and I just want to keep this energy, that WU football, we are going to win against Maryland this Saturday. Right, Melanie? Right. So, put in the comments below uh, what you think the score is going to be, or even if we're going to win, I don't want to say this, but lose, let me know in the comments section below, and please hit the like, subscribe, hit that little bell, because you can see the next time I have a new video posted. So, I was reading a little bit, we're going to do a little news facts here real quick, a little news, a little newsy news. Uh, West Virginia President Gordon Gee said, said that he believes college football playoff expansion is on life support and that he will not vote in favor of the proposing 12-team model when the CFP Board of Managers meet next month. So he's against it. I'm against it. That's been to be a huge talk here. NWU football, what, a couple weeks now? On and off. Uh, it's not, it's not a good idea. I mean, they're bring, trying to bring some more, more teams into the Big 12. Me personally, I like where we're at. I don't see us trying to, I don't want us to move or try to put any more, more football teams in. My personal opinion, everyone has their own opinion. That's mine. So, was hope that, you know, the boys in gold and blue this Saturday win. I'm confident they are going to win. Uh, the stats I've been reading shows they're going to, they're going to win. Uh, they're in favor. So, let's get it. Huh. So, Jarrett Dodge and Eli Lowe and Daddy Brown, let's get it, guys. Let's do it. You know, Veritas, uh, Condon, yeah, Con, yeah, Conway, Vandarius Conway, linebacker man. He's freaking tough. I, I, I saw some video of him. Oh, the beast! Can't wait to see him play, man. And you know, there's some layers that are gonna be whooping some butt. Saturday for sure. You yeah, know we got uh, Ty Tyron Davis, Daryl Porter. I mean, oh yeah! Shout out to my my Bridgeport guy, offensive lineman Noah Derman Dermon Dermon. I'm gonna play his name right here. I don't want, I don't want to mispronounce it, but I probably already did. Uh, 
is this going to be a great game. I'm ready for football. I know you're all ready for football. So, also, I want to let you all know that I'm going to be back on. I'm going to post another video on after the game to see, talk about the, the outcome of the game. Of the, uh, you know, what I liked about it, what, I'm not no professional, of course, but, you know, what I would like to see more of WU players, you know, do, and et cetera, et cetera. It's, you know, talk about the game a little bit, see what they could touch up on and all that, and talk about that W that you're going to be getting. So... Look for the next video coming up about me talking about the game afterwards, the aftermath. Ready? Me too. So, well, I'm gonna be drinking while I'm watching this game. Country Road Moonshine, baby. Oh, this is good stuff, man. Tastes and smells like root beer float. The flavor is great. It's made right here in West Virginia. 40% alcohol. Root beer flow, baby. It's good stuff. Oh, yeah. Country road style. So. Cheers. <laughs> See y'all next time.